All right, sorry. I should have adjusted before I turned started the video. Um, so I am running late to a massage slash stretch appointment. So I'm, and this is the first I've talked to the camera today. I am driving. I was sitting in my chair comfortably watching television last night when I got a text message from my therapist, my massage stretch therapist, um, asking if I wanted to come in at 3 instead of 5.30. Now, in my mind, the only thing associated with 5.30 and where she is located is, oh my God, why do I want to be in that traffic at 5.30? have a wonderfully relaxing, comfortable experience, only be ruined by horrific traffic. And uh, I said, sure. And then I remembered, after I'm sure she booked me in her calendar and um, made whatever other plans she needed to make, what's going on here, uh, that I don't want to go at 5.30. As badly as I didn't want to deal with traffic, I wanted to watch Premier League, and I guess now I won't. So, I am on my way to an appointment. Um, also, I'm sorry, I'm going to adjust you one more time. I have a feeling my phone might be slipping out of the holder. Um, also, I knew that that would shorten the amount of time that I could commit to a workout. Uh, a workout that I had planned on being a little more intense. Uh, and then, compounding the situation, I slept late. I took a doozy of a, a Delta 9 last night. And um, I woke up when my alarm went off at 8.15. Yeah, which is sleeping late. Uh, I turned that bitch off and slept for another two hours. <laughs> Oh my God. Sometimes those Delta 9s hit harder than others. Uh, but it felt good. And it was the day after leg day. Today is the day after leg day. So I'm okay with it. I'm kind of just uh, writing the day off as a uh, active recovery day. I, I let myself sleep late. And then in turn, in spite of the fact that I heard he was up, I could hear him. I wasn't, I wasn't unaware of the fact that my father had been up. Especially when I opened my bedroom door and his television was on. But his bedroom door was closed. So he got up, watched something, and decided to go back to bed before I got out of bed. So then I kind of felt like, alright, that one's kind of on me. I let him out here when I probably should have gotten up at 8.15, like I planned. Which was more than 8 hours of sleep. Uh, so if he wanted to go back to bed after just sitting there, maybe a little hungry, I, uh, I just let him go. And I started doing some other things. In addition to the fact that I completely had his breakfast ready to just roll. It required um, one minute and 30 seconds in the microwave this morning. Um, yeah, not the healthiest of choices. But one that he likes and is uh, a little better for him carb-wise than what he would actually prefer. Uh, so I let him sleep. And I got embraced. Embraced? Entranced? Um, in a podcast. I guess you call it a podcast. It's a show on XM, but you can go back and listen to it like it's a podcast. Uh, Grumpy Pundits, which if you don't listen to Grumpy Pundits, give it a give it a whirl. If you're a football fan of any any team league, give them a whirl. Um, even though the best guy, the, the the funniest guy, there's there's no best guy on there. The most entertaining guy, I should say, maybe, is a West Ham fan. So, of course, he poops on Spurs. But that means he also poops on Arsenal and Chelsea and some of the other teams that I just assumed would poop on. Um, so, anyway. I'm listening to Grumpy Pundits. I'm into it. And then I realized, damn, it's almost 1 o'clock. <sighs> so, I went back there and I banged on his door. I didn't bang. I knocked on his door. Said, it's time for breakfast. And by the time he rolled out there, it was straight up 1 o'clock. And, of course, I can't just throw his food down in front of him and let him have at it. I kind of have to give it to him in stages or he'll just go nuts and 
not know what's what. And I have before meal ingestibles for him, medicine wise, and post meal ingestibles. They're not all chew. Uh, they're not all pills. Some of them are chewable things, which he generally does better with before eating. So got him to uh, get get going on his breakfast, and of course, then after the after the chewables come. Well, I bring that with coffee, and then after the after that comes uh, a bowl of uh, fresh cut fruit, and um, it's it's fresh cut fruit if the grocery store cuts it, and then I cut it again, right? That makes it fresh cut. They fresh cut it, and then I fresh cut it. Anyway, and then once he's nearing completion of that, uh, I bring in his actual breakfast entree. Which today, as I said, he likes is a, a, uh, actually, yeah, he likes it. He just doesn't prefer it. Um, Jimmy Dean Meat Lovers Breakfast Bowl. It's, it's, I don't know why it's called Meat Lovers. I guess there is some bacon in there that's virtually undetectable, but there is some. And sausage. Bacon, sausage, uh, eggs, potatoes, and cheese. And uh, I throw in, unbeknownst to him, some um, crumbled turkey sausage. Gives him a little more protein to kind of level out some of what he's getting from those potatoes. And um, the turkey is a little easier on his stomach, I think, too, than pork. And then uh, as he's wolfing his way through that, that is a unique experience, by the way, listening to my father eat. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. And then he is somewhat getting through his coffee. Actually, when I bring his entree, I usually top his coffee off. Um, he is maniacal about wanting his coffee as hot as can be. So once I give him his entree and he's making his way through that, once I hear the, the, the unique, uh, unmistakable sound of him drinking his coffee after he's done eating because he likes to like with every sip uh, then I know it's time for the post meal pills all of that to say I got a really late start and then that's when I started thinking you know what I am a little sore from yesterday's legs um, I did not do my standard 5x5 five five. I mixed up my reps a little bit so uh, the soreness came on a little quicker than normal and um, I thought today's just going to be a spin day. And uh, a little bit of stretching when I was done. Mostly hamstrings. Um, and that left me enough time to clean myself off a little bit. Run some detangler through my hair. Put on fresh clothes. And uh, grab something to consume on my way. Uh, absent in all of what you heard me describe about my day so far was any mention of me eating. So here it is, 2.51, and I have yet to eat anything today. So I, I am going to try to leave myself enough time before I get there to eat, but I'm still talking. So uh, I, I've mentioned before, I believe, that one of my biggest problems food-wise isn't necessarily what I eat, but it's the uh, quantity. And the fact that I, I graze, and even grazing on uh, healthier things, you're still grazing, and that's usually still kind of mind-numb calories that you're taking in that you don't necessarily need. So I've, I've kind of fallen on this new way, for my brain at least, to be a little better about cutting off the grazing. I started taking a fairly uh, expensive not terribly expensive, but a little pricey, uh, supplement. And that supplement uh, recommends taking between meals. So once you take it, you are a little more cognizant of the fact that you need to do it between meals, maybe not eat anything for a little bit so that this supplement is in fact between uh, feeding times. Um, and so today I went ahead and took that um, probably around... I don't know, noon 30-ish. And uh, 
I thought, well, I have uh, two hours or so before I'm going to eat. And that would be right about now. So, I'm going to eat before I get to my appointment and try not to burp when I get there. See ya. Alright, so, uh, sorry for the Jackson Brown there. Uh, I'm done. That was wonderful as always. Painful, but wonderful. Um, I don't know if I can completely recommend getting a massage and stretch the day after leg day. Because it does definitely make the uh, leg aspect, the stretch massage leg aspect much more intense. <laughs> I don't know if it's good for you or not, but you got to do, you got to do what you got to do. So I am also going to take my phone while I'm here, right around the corner, about two blocks from the therapist to a place to see about getting my cell phone um, protected screen covered. Sorry, I keep spitting. So there's that. I've got my drinks here as you should do post uh, massage and stretch and uh, I'm going to consume them and I'll probably hit you back later